Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I apologize that this video is in two parts. Um, let's, we are working today now on page 170 together. So our first problem says, after the party there was one third of the cake left. If Mr. Walker eats one eighth of the one third of the cake, will the total amount eaten be greater than or less than one third of the cake? Will the total amount eaten be greater than or less than one eighth of the cake? Okay, so what I see is he eats one eighth of the one third. So one eighth of one third tells me it's a multiplication problem. So we have one eighth times one third. Okay, so let's draw what we have. So it says after the party there was one third of the cake left. So here's our cake. I'm gonna make a very long skinny cake and there was one third of the cake left. So this is how much cake there was left. One third. Okay, and it tells us Mr. Walker eats one eighth of this, which means we have to cut this into eighths. So let's cut this into eighths. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he only eats one of those pieces. That's all he eats is that one piece. Okay, so the question asks us, will the total amount eaten, will what he, Mr. Walker eat be less than or one third of the cake? Well, definitely less than one third. And then it says, will the total amount eaten be greater than or less than one eighth? It was less than one eighth too. Okay. So if we wanted to know the real answer, we would have to divide each of these sections into eight pieces too. So let's divide each of those into eight sections. So Mr. Walker ate one piece out of how many was there originally? Well, this had eight and then that middle section had eight and this had eight. So eight, eight, and eight is 24. Okay, so look closely and see if you're starting to see a pattern here of how we're getting our answers. Okay, our next one says, Milo has five eighths of a gallon of paint. If he uses three fourths of the five eighths of the gallon, will the total amount used be greater than or less than three fourths of a gallon? Will the total amount used be greater than or less than five eighths? Okay, so what we see here is three fourths of five eighths, which means it's three fourths times five eighths. That's why it's a multiplication problem. Okay, so what do we have? It says Milo has five eighths of a gallon of paint. So I'm using these long skinny ones. So he has five eighths, so which means we have to divide this into eighths. So I like to do halves and then fourths and then eighths. And he has five eighths. So he has one, two, three, four, and five. That's how much of the paint he has. Okay, but then it tells us he uses three-fourths of the five-eighths. So of each one, he's only going to use three-fourths of it. So let's go cut each one in three-fourths, and then let's shade that. One, two, three kind of hard to see the way I'm shading that. So he used three there, and then here he used three. So one, two, three. And then here, let's cut it in fourths, and he uses one, two, three. And then here, let's cut this in fourths, and he uses one, two, three. And then this one we cut in fours, and he uses one, two, and three. So he did not use the entire three, four, or five eighths because he didn't use that, 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 or that. So it's definitely less than five eighths, and it's also less than three fourths. So if we wanted to know how much he used, we'd have to continue cutting these pieces up into fourths too. So let's cut all those into four. So he used three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 out of how many total? 
Well, there was four here, four there, four there, four there, four there, four there, four there, and four there. So four, 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 four. So eight fours is 32. So okay, look here and see if you're seeing this pattern that's happening. Okay, even if you've seen the pattern, the directions are gonna ask you to kind of sh reason with it with a model. So make sure you do that in your work. Have a great day, bye-bye.